Salutations, Internet, and welcome back to Dewombat Gaming. I'm Dewombat, and we are not playing Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. No, we are playing Baldur's Gate, Tales of the Sword Coast. This is a game that I grew up with when I was, like, five. Yeah, yeah, I was around five or seven, and my sister and my cousin would play this game all the time, and I would just sit there next to them thinking, Oh, man, this is so cool! There's all these swords and these evil goblin thingies! Yeah, so this... This game was a big part of my childhood. Now, we're going to play a match in multiplayer, because that allows us to pause and look at our inventory, and that's how I like to play. It's a little easier, but I'm going to be commentating, so that makes the game a little harder for me. So yeah, let's do that. Create game. Dewombat, Dewombat, new game. Alright. So yeah, when you do a single-player game, and I'm still only going to be creating one character to start with, in a single-player game, when you pause, you cannot go into your inventory and do stuff. As soon as you go into your inventory, it will unpause and things will happen, which is dangerous. Let's make a character. Gender. Well, I'm a man. There's no difference when you pick the gender, though. Like, it doesn't change anything of the game. Really. Let's pick a portrait. He looks cool. He looks flamboyant. He looks mystic. Look at his little, his little weird mustache beard braids. Those are long fingernails. That guy. I like this guy. Look, he's got pointed ears. Yeah, let's do this, because I want to be a half-elf. Half-elves! Proud! Proud half-elves. Multi-class. Let's be... Gosh... be a fighter mage. I want to have the most durability I can on this character while still having some fun. Alignment. Neutral good. I believe that balance of force is important, but that the concern of law and chaos do not moderate the need for good. Yeah, you gotta be good. Abilities. Alright, so in this game I love to have the best abilities I can get, so I add up the left number like the, the number in the ones column of all these things and add them together. And if it's below 10, I subtract, like, I'd subtract 4 for that 6. And if that adds up to 21 or over, then I will keep it. So let me quickly see what I can do. Get some good rolls. I got some really good rolls in my test video, which sucks because my game crashed. So I can't keep those. Nope. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is a good one. So, 15. Oh my gosh. 15... That's like 26 or something. Alright. Bring our stuff down. I want to be smart. I want to be hardy. I want to be dexterous. And I want to be strong. And let's make ourselves rather charismatic. Alright, so strength. Strength. Measures a character's muscle and endurance, so it's really good for fighters in melee combat. Dexterity makes you good with ranged weapons. And with certain things, constitution increases your hit points and makes you less likely to die from disease and stuff. Intelligence means that you can learn more spells and cast them more efficiently. Since I'm a fighter mage, I need intelligence. Wisdom measures enlightenment, judgment, and common sense. And I don't have any common sense. What are you talking about? That's ridiculous. You remember in the Warcraft Let's Play, in that mission when I was playing humans and I attacked the undead twice when I should... That is, yeah. I don't have any common sense. Charisma measures a character's persuasiveness and personal magnetism. And by that, the game means how sexy you are. So, I'm slightly above average. Ten is average. So I'm like a, like a six, you know, on a scale from one to ten. That's good enough, because I, I don't plan on wooing anybody. Alright, pick proficiency slots. This means weapons I am good with. I would like to be good with a bow. Very good with a bow. And... Let's see, I'm going to go with either large sword or axes. What do you think? Battle axes and throwing... Eh. Spiked weapons? Morning stars and flails. Let's go with large swords. Alright. And now I have to pick my spells that I know. Let's go with sleep, because sleep is really good, and identify. Because I need to identify magical items. Let's go with sleep first, because I can always memorize identify later. Appearance. Um, well, that, the hair and skin looks good. Let's change, eh, crap, uh, yeah, that looks, that looks good, looks like the portrait. Oh, oh, and now we have to pick a voice for our character. Onward, 
Onward! I feel this is my rightful place. I will require rest soon. I should be more productive with my time. I am not well at all. Hmm? Yes? I stand ready. <laughs> Your life ends here. I alone belong here. I grow tired of wasting time. I am certain to die. What would you have me do? Let's go. Well, I guess I should have play all of them for you guys, but I know which one I want. Death to you all. <laughs> that one's kind of bloodthirsty. As it should be. I must rest my eyes a while. Oh, such a waste of time this is. I. I... What? <laughs> time for a bit of the rough and tumble. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lead them well. I like this one, but I wouldn't pick it for this character. I'll need to be resting, sir. So I'm gonna pick the default because it, it's a good one. Now for a name. The Wombat? Eh, that's not... That's not medieval. That's not Dungeons and dragons E enough. Let's go with Sir Wombat. Yeah. Alright. Yes. Let us... Let us begin. Now, there's going to be a bit of an intro here, and I'm going to be silent for it. And You can skip through it if you want, but I want to give everybody the chance to listen. Because this game is very story-driven, it's Nestled important. Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress, kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your 20 years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. An unexpected journey, just like the Hobbit! Ha! Ah, pop culture! St I... whatever. So our character is around 20, so that's that's the age of me, so that's nice. Last time I played this I was like 13, but now I can connect with the character more. So as you can see, this game is old. It will be done. Very old. Look at these graphics. Look at this resolution. These graphics. Let's see. The candle keep in. May as well head in here and get started. A tutor. Bye. Oh, I already know that. I, I won't talk to the tutors. I know what I'm doing. Let's talk to Winthrop. Well, hello there, young one. Come to visit your old pal Winthrop, have ye? Well, don't forget the five thousand gold piece book entrance fee, as per candle keep custom. Don't you know? That's outrageous. What kind of? Uh, you were always the big hitter, Winthrop. Ugh, just having a bit of fun with you, my friend. Them monks may be walking around with poles in their nethers, but y you know you're always welcome here in my sight. Gorion did well by you, he did. So is there anything I can do for you? Some drinks? A room to sleep? Or anything to buy? I have no idea what sort of accent that just was, but... Eh, I guess, I guess that's what I do. Now, let's buy the best armor we can. Because that's nice. And can we afford... We can't afford a longsword. Well, poof. I guess we'll just fight with our quarterstaff for now. We'll get a sword later. There. So our armor class is 1. Having a low armor class 
means that enemies won't be able to hit you as easily. As opposed, because this was based on Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, which was the Dungeons and Dragons of the time this game was made, like 1998 or something. I should really check that. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. Identify scroll. He should be done. Okay, sure. So I just got a quest to get an identify scroll from the middle of the candle keep somewhere. That's locked. I can't unlock it. I'm not a thief. No time to chit chat. Nobleman. Noble woman. What's in here? Dagger? Well, they didn't seem to care, so now I have a dagger. Okie dokie. Let's go upstairs. With these. Sleeping people. Sleeping man. Can I steal from you? I'll take those. Yeah, now. Oh, he's. That's locked. That's locked. <laughs> Stealing from people immediately, even though I'm a good person. That's locked. Is there anything that's not locked? Oh, can't. Oh, there's Don't a guy in here. Touch me. I might catch yes, might I help you? Sorry to disturb you. Uh. I have been knee-deep in tomes of the keep all day, and I am in quite the fog at the... Such a wonder... Oh, oh, goodness. Uh, okay, well, bye. <laughs> that was a lot of pointless banter that I didn't feel like reading. All right, well, more noblemen. <coughs> Excuse me. At least, I mean, it's nice that they added all of this stuff into the game. Think about it. Did They didn't really need to give those noblemen something to say, but they did. Okay, Winthrop, I'm going to buy... Well, first I'm going to sell this dagger that I don't need. I'm going to buy that longsword from you. Yeah, that sounds good. Now I have a weapon I'm actually good with. And let's get rid of that quarterstaff. You can't sell a piece of wood, so he won't buy it. I look kind of decked out. Not I look problem. like an adventurer. Things are going well so far. Tutor... So this, as you can tell, is sort of the, the prologue teaching part of the game. But there's quests in it to be had. Flidia. Have you seen my copy of the History of Halura? Anywhere. You know I can't stand the constant shuffling of arthritic feet up in the library. So I've got to get a piece of fresh air just east of here. And Oh, I hate being so absent-minded. Please, if you find it, I really do need it back. Okay. Flidia. Cow. No. Oh, the sound clip, same sound clip for each cow? Yep, okay. I hope that you can forgive the resolution of this game. It is rather old. So, you know, don't don't be too judgmental. Hello. Uh, Not a problem. hi. Oh, goody goody, I've gone and found you first. You are the Water Gorion, no doubt. I do not recognize you. Who are you and what are you doing here? Who am I is unimportant, but who you are is very much so. I apologize for this dirty bit of business, but I must seek your death. A pity, I know, but it would seem your head is worth an exceptional amount to me. I kill you myself, and I need not share credit with anyone. What? Shank? His name is Shank. Whoa! I caused him to explode with a sword. I guess that's what happens when you have gore on in this game. Oh, that's locked. Can't open it. Eight gold. Jeez. That guy exploded. That doesn't happen every time you kill someone. That that just sort of happened. And I got 20 experience. Hmm? Hooray. Sir Wombat, you cut yourself above the brow there. What's wrong, child? Something in your eyes tells me that something is very wrong. Who's Parda? Uh, do I tell him about it or do I lie? Let's tell him about it. It was it was horrible. He tried to kill me. Hurry then, child. Equip yourself at the inn and go join Gorion on the steps of the library. I had a sense something like this might happen. Why? What do you know that I don't? Good God. Is that... That's just a guard. Drepid. What do you need? Flidia left one of her books in here again. It's in the hay. There beside the cow. If you could run it over to her and then come back, I've got some plans for you. Uh, alright. Sweet. Book. The History of Halrua. That's what she asked for. Let's go. Let's go give it to her. 
I should increase the scroll speed. This is kind of slow. I'll do that off camera. Hello there. Hello there. My book! Oh, you remind me of Gorion when you grin like that. Raising you has been hard on him, I know. But he says it's a toil of love. A toil of destiny, even. You must be a very special child, indeed, to draw such praise from a man of his silent nature. Here, take this little gem of mine. Maybe Winthrop will give you a little something for it. You know, Flidia, I'm not really... not a child anymore. I'm like 20, you know. We could, uh... If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Come on, she's a... attractive-looking mage lady. Don't you think so? She's a little... She's a little cute. Now, I'm sure some of you are thinking, can you just kill everybody here? And the answer is, you can try. The game lets you attack anything. So you can even try and attack Garion, your adoptive father. So go ahead and try that on your own time if you feel you like mean? it. Nice day, ain't it? Too bad Nessa here ain't enjoying it. Though her being sick and all, I need to get her one of them potions of antidote off Hull. He stayed up drinking last night and got hauled out of bed to man the gates early this morning, so I bet he's got a few of them lying around somewheres. Okay, so he wants us to do that. The Temple of Ogma. Ogma is one of the gods of learning and mental discipline as well as physical discipline. And I know this from books that I've read about this place, as well as other things. Jondalar. Hey, yeah. So you're up this... Well, your father, Grind, has asked me to strange feather. He wants you to learn some fighting. Uh... Yeah, I know. Oh, okay, he wants me to fight him. Okay. So, he, this is teaching you the basis of combat. And he has a friend shooting at me as well. You did good, kid. Especially after Eric started firing those arrows at you. I'm sure your father would be proud. You should go talk to the gate warden if you want some experience in fighting with a group of people. You can find... I don't need to do that. I know about the game. I thought that one was skippable, but apparently it was, wasn't. And that's not... Oh, and if you notice, we got this little gem. A lynx eye gem from Flidia. Why Moradin's hammer? I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this building yesterday already. Up to it. Get in there. Again, I don't. I guess that's my dwarf voice. Well, <laughs> maybe all my voices will meld together. Rats. Not a problem. I wonder if I got one experience for killing a rat. Did I? I just critically missed. I hope I didn't hit myself. No, I have full health. Keep killing the rats. Yeah. I could kill these cats if I wanted to, but that sounds evil. Meow. And I got a silver ring for my trouble. That's nice. I love how there was epic battle music for me just fighting rats. That's kind of ridiculous. Hey, Revor. Ah, yes! Kill them like the rats they are! Glorious battle, unlike any this world has ever seen! Here's five gold pieces. Don't spend it all in one place! Five gold pieces and 50 experience. I'd prefer the experience to the gold pieces, really. So, oh, oh man, has it really been that long? All right, well, I think that is where we're going to end off this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like if you liked it, and subscribe for more videos. I'll be updating this one not as frequently as Warcraft 3, maybe one a day instead of two. And, yeah, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.